My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we live in a gap in need of filling. In the beginning, when God set out to create the heavens and the earth, there was an empty and formless void. So God created some space in it. He made some light, so there was space to see. He separated the waters so there could be this air bubble. He called it sky. Then he made some dry ground so there could be seas and dry places for us to walk around. But those were still empty. So God filled them. God filled it with plants to make air and to give us food. Filled it with creatures, birds in the sky and fish in the sea and people walking around. God created all of that out of nothing. And we too still live in a gap. But it's not an empty and formless void. Clearly we're here, right? <laughs> On that mountain, Jesus continued creation. All the acts of God are acts of creation. This trinity that we celebrate today is inherently relational and inherently creative. And God gave us dominion over the world so we could continue working with God to create the world so it can be good as God intended. Jesus came and continued that act of creation by forming this group of disciples who loved each other, who went around healing people, making sure that people had enough to eat, making sure that there was justice and love and peace in all the world. So Jesus says to them, Go expand this community. Go to everybody in the world and expand this community. Because there's a lack of respect. There's a lack of relationship. There's a lack of fairness in the world. Because as God created the world, everyone should have fair wages for their work. They shouldn't have to work two, three, four, five, six jobs. They should be able to till their land and get a fair wage for their crops and their milk and their meats. People shouldn't have to worry about, if I get sick, will I lose everything? People shouldn't have to worry about losing their home or being one bad season away from the family farm, going into the hands of some faceless corporation. People shouldn't have to drive hours and hours to get to work or live in a separate place from their family. So Jesus says, go make the world the way it should be. Things aren't exactly perfect, but God has given us this vision through the prophets and through Jesus and tells us to go out and make it happen to fight for it, to work for it here and now. We're called to create with God that kingdom in that world. We can't do it out of nothing. God has given us all that we need. God has given us the vision. God has given us the community. He even gives us the food to sustain us in that work. Sometimes we might get confused and think, well, we have the church, we've got it. But Jesus says, go to all nations. Don't just find a little club. <laughs> go to the whole world and teach them and bring them into this vision. Because while God creates out of nothing, God calls us to move things around and be builders of that creation too. That is terrible terribly exciting. It's very humbling, too, because it's a lot of responsibility. But in that, we participate 
in this trinity. We participate in the creative love of God. We participate in the grace Christ taught and shared with us that he brought to all the world on the cross. And we live in that life-giving spirit. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, go out and make disciples and bring the kingdom to all nations. Amen.